All right, guys. So today I want to walk you through why uh, your iPhone messages might be green. Now, there's a few reasons here. Uh, the cause of a green message could be that the recipient that you're texting doesn't have an iPhone. So if they have an Android or any other type of phone, these messages will be green uh, because non-Apple devices send messages through SMS or um, MMS or all these other different formats for messaging. Uh, another reason is your iMessage could be disabled. You could have connection issues or, you know, the iMessage service might be unavailable. So I'm going to walk you through six different things that we can check uh, to make sure that nothing's going wrong, that your green messages turn back blue if they're eligible. When this video helps you, if you could just consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It's just a really easy way to support what we're doing here and I really appreciate it. So first we're going to check our iMessage settings. So we'll open up our settings app, scroll all the way down to the bottom and open apps. At the top, we're gonna search for messages. So in the messaging app, we would see this iMessage thing, toggle this off and on just to see if that kicks in the uh, blue messages that we're looking for. If this is toggled off, you need to make sure that it's toggled on. If that doesn't work, we wanna check our Wi-Fi. Uh, maybe we don't have enough bandwidth or, um, you know, a good enough internet connection to run uh, iMessage. So just go to speedtest.net and hit a quick speed test. And this will help you give you an idea. Looks like my internet is pretty fast here. Uh, but if yours is lower, say it's in the teens or below, I'd say that that might be the cause for your issue. This is also going to work whether you're connected to Wi-Fi or if you are on the um, the network. Uh, next, we're just going to verify that the person we text that we are texting definitely has an iPhone. Again, if they do not have an iPhone, our messages are going to be green. Just we can't change that. So next, we're going to check. Maybe there's a an iPhone update. So we'll go back to our settings here. And inside of settings, we'll find general. And then from general, we'll look at the software update. You can see my phone is up to date, but if yours has an update that's required, maybe not required, but um, I would definitely update your phone to see if that helps. Now, the last thing we can do is restart our network on our phone. So to do that, uh, we're gonna go back to general inside of settings. And from here, we would scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone. And here we would select reset. And down here, we're gonna select reset network settings. And then we'll enter in our password and that's gonna help reset our, our network. And that could be the cause of it. Last thing we're gonna try is just powering the phone off for a few minutes and then kicking it back on. Uh, that might be, I mean, I know if my iPhone, if I don't restart it for an extended amount of time, I do have issues. So um, however you're gonna start it on this one, I would hit these two buttons and then I would slide to power off. So I hope that helps. If it does, let me know which one of those helped. And if it doesn't, so sorry, did my best, but best of luck to you.